Hello, my name is Gustav Jansson and I'm a photographer. Uh, with this mini podcast or micro podcast or whatever you want to call it, I will start my 52 frame project for 2023. Last year I finished my 365 project and uh, I've, I missed a personal project for for just myself uh, since I finished it the, the November 2nd I think it was or 1st uh, I'm not really done with that project because I will I will make a documentation about it and uh, I've collected uh, like 70, 70 around 70 photos from the project that I remastered black and white and uh, wrote some uh, I, yeah I wrote uh, a new caption to it some longer some shorter and I will make I will make a documentation about it uh, this January or February but uh, for this 52 frames project I will uh, I will make one photo each week and release it on Sunday so uh, this is the first one as you see, uh, I will just show the the photo and maybe some details from the photo. If uh, if there are any details, I will talk a bit more about. And uh, this shot is taken uh, on my way home from uh, from the work. Uh, I pass this uh, this spot uh, each day when I take my bike to, uh, to the train station, and. Um, I find it really, really nice. I've seen some beautiful sunrises here and even some sunsets that uh, that glows into the houses on the other side here. The best time I think is at uh, spring, early, early summer around May or maybe early June. The sun is uh, up early and uh, and hits uh, hits the houses really beautiful. Not these houses though it's um, it's houses on the left side from this frame the sun goes up right on the right side from this uh, from this frame so uh, yeah it uh, it's really really beautiful and um, i stopped by this day and uh, took uh, i think it was like tuesday or something this week i stopped by and uh, took this photo because uh, the snow the weather is like up and down all the time. Every day could be something different. It's like living on an Iceland or something. Uh, one day it snows like th two, three centimeters like this day. And uh, on the night it starts to rain. And the uh, next day it's just gray and misty and boring and depressing. And then the snow comes again and uh, it's all white. So uh, it's like... a roller coaster of uh, of weather and snow and rain but uh, this morning the i woke up with uh, like six centimeters of snow or something and when i came to the town uh, i live like 40 or 50 kilometers from uh, gothenburg and when i come to gothenburg in sweden it it was just pitch black everything was wet and rainy so so i thought oh when i come home this snow will be gone but it wasn't. So when I come home, I I saw this uh, this snowy jetty and uh, and the mirror on the surface and uh, the snow on the other side on the trees and on the houses and I thought it this must be a this must be a frame. So I picked my uh, like M10 and um, and framed. Uh, I think I had a like ISO one one thousand six hundred or three thousand two hundred or something, and aperture f two. I think and shutter is like maybe forty forty sixty something. So it was it was uh, really dark that that day, and uh, but I but I managed to push push the pushed exposure a bit in capture one as well so so it's far from uh it's far from a super sharp image it's it's a bit grainy and uh and so but i i like it i like it that way actually i i think it uh i think it has its char its charm and uh and the blue blue temperature on the overall scene is it makes it lifts the the snow and the cold so uh yeah yeah, I really like this. 
Uh, one thing though with this uh, photo that I erased, it's uh, like power lines on the left side. It's really boring that uh, that uh, that this uh, surrounding has has those power lines. It didn't show that much in this uh, that this night because it was dark and it was a bit. Uh, it's not not no fog, but the clouds the clouds were very low. So, but uh, I think it it was very much uh, better with uh, without the power power lines uh, on the other side of the trees. So actually, I I um, I cleaned them out uh, in Capture One just just for the the calmness in the in the photo. Uh, I couldn't erase the footprints and the snow on the yeti dough, but uh, it would be it would be even more nice with uh, with a solid snow surface on the yeti. But you can't get everything, especially when you're out on the afternoon. So um, yeah, this uh, 52 frame project will not be all about um, landscape photo- photography. I I shoot almost anything, uh, anything I like. It could be nature, it could be landscape, it could be documentary, more, more family documentary. It could be um, street photography or yeah, anything I see interesting. Because I I used to have my camera with me anywhere. So if I find a composition that I like, I I usually take it. Uh, then. I will uh, I think I will I'm not I'm not totally done with how I will manage this uh, project but I think I will just take photos if I don't see one thing that I know I want to have in this 52 frames project I I think I will uh I think I will sit down and choose a special photo at the end of the week I think I will do that uh, most of the time. Maybe if I find something I really want in the project, I I pick that one as I shoot it. But uh, most of the times, I think I will I will pick um, the one I like most from the week, from the past week. Uh, yeah, this is the first. It's kind of impulsive <laughs> i haven't thought this whole uh, thing through a lot actually and i i just ramble around uh, talking about things that pop up in my head uh, maybe i will do this every time or maybe i will write something down that i will talk about um if you have any questions or something about the photo or about the about some photos on my glass profile or or anything uh, please add a comment and I will answer next week or in the comment field um, yeah I hope uh, this wasn't uh, too boring to listen at and I hope you will manage to um, understand my quite bad English <laughs> I'm from Sweden and I I'm not that good at languages, so uh, but I I have to I have to try and I have to step out of my comfort zone with um, just talk Swedish. I um, I think I have to talk more English as uh, as it goes. Uh, bye, thanks.